Welcome to the George Washington University Commencement Celebrations 2021. One generation to the next. With pride and purpose. Celebrating 200 years of only at GW moments. In a time like no other, communities have come together, made a difference, faced adversity with perseverance and resilience. All moments that defined us and a generation. The Columbian College of Arts and Sciences congratulates our graduates for their accomplishments, innovations, discoveries, and success. Raise high. And now, the 2021 commencement celebration for the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. Please welcome Dean Paul Walbeck. Hello, I'm Dean Paul Walbeck, and it gives me great pleasure to be part of this special celebration to recognize the graduates of George Washington University's Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations to you all. This is a moment of great pride for me, and of course, a moment of tremendous significance for you. Your graduation symbolizes an important starting point, the beginning of a new chapter, the commencement of a new journey in your life. Many of you still may be figuring out what that journey looks like, and that's okay. I was conflicted about my own path after graduation. I ended up going to law school and became a staff attorney for the Illinois General Assembly. It was a great experience and opened doors to job opportunities in the state. But in considering those opportunities, I realized after much soul searching and lots of discussions with my former faculty mentor that practicing law wasn't my passion. My passion was academia. So I switched course, went back to school to pursue a PhD in political science, and the rest, as they say, is history. You too will continually do this, looking at your life choices, gathering the lessons you've learned, and reflecting on the people you've encountered and engaged along the way. What you've absorbed and experienced in both your academic and personal life will help you move forward. It will prepare you for the twists and turns in your career and changes in the world around you. I have every confidence that your breadth of knowledge as a graduate of the arts and sciences will carry you far in life. 2021 marks the year of your graduation, but it also marks the 200th anniversary of the founding of the university and Columbian College. It is a momentous year for you and for this institution, but I'm also mindful that the year has brought enormous upheaval in our lives. Similar to two centuries ago, today we're divided by biases, often fueled by disinformation and magnified by misunderstanding. We've experienced a pandemic, political upheaval, and the ugly ramifications of racial injustice. But there is reason for optimism and hope. Science has prevailed with the introduction of a life-saving vaccine. Our democracy, while shaken, is still standing and racial injustice is being illuminated through 21st century technology that is providing the lens for much needed reform. You, our bicentennial graduates, can determine what happens next. You can bridge what divides us and choose a path of positive engagement, constructive collaboration, and principled decision-making. As a Columbian College graduate, you recognize the power of diversity and the pressing need for a thoughtful and open exchange of ideas and information. You appreciate many approaches to arrive at innovative solutions that draw from a rich and vast array of knowledge. You're smart, driven, compassionate, socially conscious, demanding, and entrepreneurial. And we need you now more than ever. You are our future innovators, humanitarians, lawyers, and politicians. You are our educators, scientists, social workers, communicators, and artists. And while you're graduating into a world that's rife with conflict and complexity, it's also one that is continually evolving and ripe for change. This is your time to be thoughtful, be informed, probe, 
ask questions, and allow your ethical and moral compass lead you to an honest and engaged and meaningful life. Don't gauge your success by the things you accumulate or how high you climb the career ladder, but by the quality of your life and how through small kindnesses or even grand gestures, you're moving our global society forward. You are the change makers and this is your time. Graduates, I tip my academic hat and my CCAS baseball cap that you will soon be receiving to mark this moment and join my colleagues in wishing you all the best. Before moving on to our keynote speaker, I'd like to recognize this year's undergraduate faculty award winners. The Robert W. Kenny Prize for Innovation and in Teaching of Introductory Courses goes to Diane Klein, Associate Professor of History and Classical and Ancient Near Eastern Studies, and Sylvan Guriak, Assistant Professor of Physics. The Kenny Prize is awarded to faculty members who have shown innovation, creativity, and originality in teaching an introductory course in the arts and sciences. Congratulations, Professor Klein and Guriak, on this well-deserved recognition. The next award, the Columbian Prize for Teaching and Mentoring Advanced Undergraduate Students, goes to Matthew Wilson, an Associate Professor of Theater, and Eric Seidel, Assistant Professor of Philosophy. The Columbian Prize recognizes excellence in the teaching and mentoring of advanced undergraduate students. Congratulations, Professor Wilson and Seidel, on your outstanding work in this area. It is now my privilege to introduce our keynote speaker, Columbian College alumna, Marsha Reeves, who is Executive Director of KIPP Baltimore, part of a national network of college preparatory and public charter schools seeking to prepare students in educationally underserved communities with the skills and confidence needed to achieve success. We are thrilled Marsha was able to join us for this special celebration of your achievement. Thank you, Dean Walbeck, and congratulations to the class of 2021. You are graduating from the George Washington University at an inflection point a point where the world is changing in so many ways. We are having richer and for many people more uncomfortable conversations about race and the role it plays in our society, specifically in our criminal justice system. We're having a different conversation about gender and gender identity in our country. We are still in the midst of a global pandemic that has changed the way we work, learn, shop, live, and socialize. I was in a meeting of a nonprofit board and we were discussing the tremendous work the organization had done in response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Baltimore City, where I live. A fellow board member described the leadership of the president of the organization as woman meets moment. That phrase has stuck with me over the past several months and it's one that I hope will both resonate with and inspire you to consider how, as you leave this campus, and go on to the next chapter in your life, you will meet the moment in which you find yourself. I graduated from GW more years ago than I care to admit. And I'm grateful that my education at GW prepared me to attend Harvard Law School. I went to Harvard with my sociology degree, having studied race and gender and our criminal justice system in the firm belief that I was going to be a criminal defense attorney. You can imagine my surprise when I figured out in my third year of law school that I absolutely hated trial work. Having known no lawyers prior to attending law school, I had little idea what lawyers actually do. So I began the first part of my career at a large law firm in Washington, DC with no idea what I wanted to do. As it happened, I also entered the working world at an inflection point. And sitting in the office next to me, was a lawyer who I was told was doing work on some internet thing. At that time, yes, it was that long ago, few people foresaw what the internet would become, but my colleague was onto something and I was curious. Thus began my career as a lawyer focused on what later became known as FinTech or financial technology. It was this curiosity together with a willingness to take some risk that led me to join Bill Me Later when it was a startup as their first internal lawyer. And it paid off when we sold the company three years later to PayPal. 
that sale put me in the uh, that sale put me in a financial position to do the work that I do today. While I do not have a traditional background in education, the combination of my undergraduate education, including the study of societal structures like race and gender and criminal justice systems, and my legal background provided me the foundation I needed to assume a leadership role in a public charter school network and to do work that feeds my soul every day. So what does all this have to do with you and how you think about this moment and the moments to come in your lives and your careers? There are some moments where you may feel a bit a sea. In those moments, opportunities often present themselves if you remain curious and open to new ideas. I did not know at that time that I would be part of the birth of an industry that now threads through almost every aspect of our daily lives. You cannot know the long-term implications of the societal changes we have experienced during this pandemic, but you can follow your curiosity and see where it may lead you. There are some moments to take calculated risks. Joining a startup company can be risky. There are no guarantees that the company will be successful. I have seen many more startups fail than succeed. I was confident though, that even if the business failed, I would gain incredible experience that when added to the foundation I already had would allow me to get back up. There will be moments that allow you to reassess your path and chart a new course. And there are always moments, big and small, when you can consider your impact on the world. One of those moments is now, and I encourage you to consider, who are you? Who and what do you want to be? How will you meet this moment? What will be your impact? I will close by sharing something that has had a lasting impact on my life. As an undergraduate student at GW, I was the recipient of a generous scholarship given by an alumnus of the university explicitly for the benefit of a student of color. Without this support, I am certain that my parents would have struggled to support my undergraduate education, and I cannot imagine that I could have attended Harvard Law School afterward. Understanding this impact has led me to pay it forward in my own way through annual support of GW's DC scholarship program that provides aid to GW students who attend public high schools in DC. It is my sincere hope that each of them and each of you find yourselves on a career path that you find as interesting and fulfilling as I have found mine. You have all the tools you need to meet this moment. I wish you much success and happiness as you chart your course. Thank you, Marcia. It's now my pleasure to introduce our faculty speaker, Kimberly Morgan, a professor of political science and international affairs and director of the European and Eurasian Studies program. Hello, class of 2021. Thank you so much for this honor of serving as your faculty graduation speaker. I wish so very much that I could have done this speech in person, but I am happy to have the opportunity to record this message and convey my best wishes to you and to the friends and family members who are celebrating your achievement with you today. What a year this has been. We are living history right now. Of course, history is always unfolding around us as the present inevitably becomes the past. But some moments are clearly more historical than others. When I say we are living history, I mean that we are living through dramatic and difficult times times that will mark us in ways we can't even begin to imagine right now. All too many of us have experienced loss, and unfortunately, there's probably more loss to come. But I've also observed our remarkable capacity for adaptation and resilience. It is that resilience that gives me hope and that I'd like to speak about today. I can remember just over a year ago when the reality of the pandemic was starting to sink in I realized it was not going to be over in a couple of months, but that all our lives were going to be profoundly shaped by it with no endpoint in sight. I had many worries about many things, including about my students and my colleagues at GW. The GW experience is rooted in human connections. Our campus is lively and fun because our students are lively and fun. 
students come to GW to be engaged, involved, and active in campus life and internships and work and in this beautiful city of Washington, D.C. So what would happen to us when all those human interactions and engagements were no longer possible? How would GW continue to operate? What would our classes look like? Would the students stay with us? And would our seniors make it to the finish line? What has been remarkable to me is how we have adapted to a re reality we could not change. There are many examples of this. We stopped going out to eat, but some of us finally learned how to cook. We put on masks, and some of us found ways to turn mask wearing into a fashion statement. We said goodbye to frequent flyer miles, but our minds kept traveling through novels and Netflix. And rather than throw in the towel on work or education, we got on Zoom and just kept going. Zoom, for me, encapsulates the experience of the past year. This is simultaneously a miraculous technology and one that has driven us all crazy. I'm eternally grateful to Zoom for enabling my classes to roll forward and for me to see students and colleagues. But of course, it's a weak substitute for the real thing. Yet, with this and other technologies, we've kept our classes going and done so with relatively few complaints or difficulties putting aside a few Zoom bombing incidents or catastrophic internet outages. I teach a very large class, the Introduction to Comparative Politics. It may be one of the largest classes we offer at GW, with 290 students, many of them freshmen. Last fall, when I was preparing to teach this class, I was seriously daunted by the prospect of moving 290 students onto Zoom. Over the course of the semester, there were admittedly some unforeseen challenges, and at times the phrase train wreck came to mind whenever I thought about the class. But I entered into dialogue with the students during the semester, and they helped me get through it. They explained to me what they were going through and what worked and didn't work about the class, and they helped me see how to adjust it. I also think that precisely because we were denied the possibility of in-person interaction, the online connections became that much more important. I often stayed after class, sometimes for as long as an hour, chatting with students and answering questions about the material. And I love the time I spent in my online office hours, meeting students and hearing about how they were hanging in there, even finding ways to thrive. A number of the students told me at the end of the semester how many friends they had made through the class. They made this work and to my great surprise, this was one of the most rewarding experiences of my teaching career. There has been a lot of resilience on display this past year at GW. Not only did students adapt and prove resilient, but so did the university. Faculty, staff, administrators, we all hustled, working long hours, tooling up our tech skills, navigating the world of online education, and trying to figure out how to deliver to our students the education they deserved. Of course, parents deserve a big round of applause for their adaptability to having kids at home again, everyone living and working in the same space, competing for bandwidth. Your continuing support of your son or daughter throughout this time has, of course, been a crucial ingredient to making this past year possible. But what has most impressed me is the students, how you students have soldiered through disappointments and made the best of things, and often done so with good cheer. I see our experience of the pandemic here at GW as a microcosm of the large number of adaptations we have all had to make this past year. The resilience you have shown gives me optimism about our capacity as human beings to manage the challenges that life throws at us. I hope that as you leave GW, you feel a similar sense of optimism. As we move into a post-pandemic world, hopefully sooner rather than later, we are going to need your strength and determination to help steer us through the next phases of rebuilding and rebirth. Class of 2021, I wish you the very best. Congratulations on your tremendous achievement. Be well, and I hope you'll stay in touch. Thank you, Dr. Morgan. I'd now like to welcome our student speaker, distinguished undergraduate scholar, Zoe Frankfurter, who's graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in economics and geography. Hello to the class of 2021 and all of the family, friends, and faculty here today. 
I am excited and honored to speak at GW's second ever virtual commencement. Today is extra special because we are celebrating the graduation of GW's bicentennial class. 200 years ago, the Columbian College was chartered to fulfill George Washington's vision. Washington advocated for the establishment of a university in the District of Columbia where students would learn the arts and sciences, but more specifically, gain an understanding of civic duty and leadership. When I reflect upon the last four years, I think of how we have worked and studied during a historically tumultuous period in the US and especially here in DC. Many of us marched and protested against systemic injustices. We persevered through two government shutdowns, two impeachment trials, and most profoundly, completed our degrees during a pandemic. In January, when some of us arrived in DC to begin our final semester, we were greeted by the 25,000 National Guardsmen, countless personnel carriers, tanks, and armored cars to, deployed to secure the city after the insurrection at the Capitol. While these events could have been derailing, we as a community leveraged George Washington's vision of a dynamic learning environment where we all strive to understand the world and each other a little bit more. Unlike the generations before us, we were not asked to pick up a gun and go fight in service of our country. We were asked to stay home and wear a mask to preserve humankind. So we did. And in doing so, we sacrificed more than a year of our college experience. Unlike the generations before us, we do not get to walk across that stage on the mall in front of our friends and families. We did not have our inaugural ball, and we did not have all of those only at GW moments we never knew we'd miss. But these sacrifices saved countless lives, and I think that if George Washington could see us today, over 200 years after he advocated for what would become our Columbian College, he would see that we and this institution have fulfilled his dream. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. As Dean of the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences, it's an honor and privilege to present the class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of the faculty and staff at the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Miranda Almanzar, Natalia Beller, Natasha E. Fern, Morgan Amanda Jeffroy, Lisette Chantal Lafontant, Liam Thomas McCarthy, Caitlin Brooke Olson. Stephanie Radicek, Michael Juan Rodriguez, Laura Catherine Tomiski, Yash Bharat Adroja, Asma Munir Akram, Brianna Anderson. Tiffany Arias, Sarah Ann Beyer, Keisha Leandra Blois, Devon Jamal Bradley, Dominique Lachey Brody Wilson, Robert James Carter, Prishika Riddy Chakraborty. Winnie Chen, Ariana Bridget Cronin, Daniel Corcoran Doherty, Claudia Doherty, Inida J. Flores, Lindsay Page Goldstein, Caroline Grace Gorman. Quinn Kathleen Gorman, Jillian Eman Grabel, Jetta Greenidge, 
Emma Guggenheimer, Amanda Marie Haas, Rotem Hassan, Lillian Ruth Hatzenbeller, Marin Catherine Hersom, Brandon Tsutomu Higuma, Jillian Ann Kislow. Celia Teva Koss, Alexis Parker Levy, Ang Dongni Lee, Frankie J. Lopez, Rebecca Lucas, Neela Luma, Katie Zun Elizabeth McKean. Alex Maycock. Daniela C. Mello. April Rose Mihalovich. Amber Mirza. Sitlali Mota Gutierrez. Odoba Rosemaria Nani. Cameron Christian O'Connell. Nana A. Ofosuhene, Sterling Constantine Charisse, Nicholas Philip Peroni, Alessandra Ponce, Michael Thomas Rickard, Clara Cecilia Ruthanoski, Chloe Saad. Chloe Elliot San, Sarah Kathleen Schaefer, Abigail G. Simon, Theodore Roger Spongalert, Maria Fernanda Tapias de Pombo, Rolaine Abigail Thompson, Charles Sintolas. Brooke Tyler, Emma Young, Adanti Yearwood, Melissa Taylor Abrams, Dima K. Abu Nasra, Nava Amadi. Grace Ajayi, Sochibeze Akanime, Al Katab Amur Al Habsi, Alexandra Louise Allen, Orub H. Al Rahali, Alejandro Alvarez, Sydney Isabella Austin. Harry Francis Thomas Barrett Cotter, Richard L. Beatty, Reese Gabriel Barrow, Celine Christina Barubi, Hunter M. Brizzle, Shreyanch Budia, Kira Helen Burnham. Thomas Joseph Cawley, Allison Gates Chandler, J. Wan Chong, Selene Shishelsky, David Mark Citron, Hannes E. Coco Vargas, Anthony Lawrence Colavito. Seamus Cullen, Nolan Dulay Curley, Samuel James Daly, Teobista Daniel, 
Savannah E. DeLullo, Calvin W. DeWitt, Barrett Lynn Elderton, Mohammed Ashraf Fazil, Jessica Nicole Flagg, Jonik Foster, Zoe Frankfurter, Gabriella Friedman, Matias Andres Galarse Navia, Haley Von Hicks, Nathan Christopher Higgins, Sterling Howell, Ruth Tuan Young, Mahari David Jackson. Jang G. Christopher Maurice Kaiser. Alexis Labadi Caldini. Zachary Abraham Kaufman. Jacqueline Elizabeth Kelleher. Tai Wu Kim. Bantu Germesa Kumsa. Austin LaJoy. Alexis Amy Lewandowski. Aja Lee. Run Fan Long. Dylan Lucko. Kyle Mack. Kristen Grace Mata. Wen Xiao Miao, Lydia C. Miller, Alexa Miller Smith, Brock Elmer Milstein, David Mirzoyan, Natalie Morgan, Luke William Mueller Odin. Peter Bradford Noctway, Margaret Lang Nelson, John David Olds, Jacob D. Otley, Nolan Parisi, Faith Kyung Mi Park, Drew Patel. Bradford Lewis Patterson, Lee A. Payne, Jacqueline Christina Rauschenberger, Divya Sagar, Max Hunter Sylvan, Gersimran Singh, Pekna Kaur Singh. Justin Solt, Maximilian Peter Stanley, Lucas Reading Stauffer, Joel Ross Aaron Mark Stennett, Daniel Suger, Sydney A. Sullivan, Sadie Tetro. Allison Elizabeth Thomas, Anusha Vasudevarao, Justin Alexander Vitali, Julie Huang Vo, Billy Von Hyde, Han Wong, Zhao Wei Wong. Ching Yi Wu, Han Song Xiang, Wen Jun Yan, Audrey Xuan Yang, 
Ji Xuan Yang, Zhou Hong Yu, Jing Meng Zhang, Si Dai Zhao, Zhao Jun Zhu, Joanna Marie Ziegler. Davi Cohen, Venkata S. Dudala, Kayla Ashley Fermaint, Camille Marie O'Keefe, Han Bin Park, Samantha Polanco, Isabel T. Sperry. Dawn Marie Elizabeth Sullivan, Megan Bryce Teston, Malena Elizabeth Urutia, Zoya Ahmed Ansari, Micah Banks, Meg Beaven. Isabel Annie Bonkey, Faith Desta Brown, Isabel M. Brundik, Alana Joel Davis, Madeline McClurg Dyson, David Garrett Garberich, Riley Jean Graham. Rita A. Huck, Taylor Marie Henderson, Brittany Hay Ho, Haley McBean Hunt, Charles Parker Jensen, Natalie Jimenez, Emily Jurian. Catherine Jane Klein, Erica Judy Knight, Samantha Nicole Kramer, Devin S. Link, Cara Michelle McCurley, Amber Adi Miller, Wang Xin Niu. Olivia Grace Osborne, Lauren Julia Peller, Eileena T. Peng, Lauren Nicole Perez, Marcus Alexander Pryor, Rebecca Redwine, Juliana Lee Ridgeway. Sarah Evelyn Roach, Annie Rule, Michael Levin Schnell, Grant F. Sobetsky, Avery Saint Ange, Elizabeth Strickland, Hannah Rose Sturgis. Guinevere Faye Thomas, Kaylin Troy Womack, Valerie Christina Yerk, Kira Elizabeth Wong Althaus, Drew Arell. Gabriella Margaret Armanda, Aaron Francis Berry, Lillian Isabella Bautista, Chanson J Benjamin, 
Jesse Alexander Cardinal Grace D. Christensen Olivia Columbus Riley Maeve Doyle Cole E. Dushin Timothy Nolan Finley Kylie Marie Franzak Paige Grandy Caitlin Sarah Hartman Garrett S. Hoff Hunter Earman Elizabeth Irons Margot Hannah Kaplan Connor Douglas Kilgore Olivia Catherine Kinnan Dylan Meyer Laviali Jacob Lidke Anna Little Sonia Carly Ann Long Isabella Marchese Nicole Sophia Morales Haley Ann Oland Amy Patronella Tess Genevieve Peterson Joseph Vincent Romalo Veronica Elizabeth Ricobene Samantha Ross Karen Elizabeth Scott Madeline Margaret Sell Gabrielle Marie Serena Anthony Dion Thomas Zoe Cecilia Otis Jake Spencer Antonori Bridget Florence Anzano Alexa Xavier Arbiza Simone Michelle Armour Amebit Atana Abhishek Bajpai Logan Dean Bash Emily Page Baum Emily Joan Bowens Slovana Alexa Becerra Zachary M. Bernstein Thomas Hilton Best Zachary Alexander Bloom Jacob Robert Bloomstein Erica Marie Brangwin Christopher Tyler Brassel Ben Brideman Luke Anthony Briggs Brian Broker Marissa Lee Brown Ashley Brundage Davis Tillett Burton Tiffany Lachey Butler Samuel Francis Maynard Cady Quinn Marie Casey Nicole A. Senamo Zachary Paul Centrella Mark F. Chaban Jun Wu Choi Marin Lovejoy Christensen Emmeline Avery Cobb Dylan C. Kogan David Cohen Madeline May Cohen 
Ofer Shalom Cohen Samayev James Dunbar Conley Lincoln Grace Colleen Mallon Connolly Matthew Ackerman Converse Keaton Rohit Cooper Samantha Catherine Cooper John Thomas D'Alessio William Keo Daly Alec D'Angelo Sarah Rose Daniello Nadia Dawit Alexandra Derus Christopher Alves de Lima Jr. Isabella Maria Del Pino Danielle Kirsten Devine Veronice D.B. Catherine Tatiana Dorachenko Shannon Marie Doyle Shina Maria De Silva August Jennings Eckstein Noah Evans Margaret Adele Everett Alexander Federick Adriana Fiju Aaron Powers Feldman Caroline Blair Fenyo Adriana Del Carmen Fernandez Mackenzie Barry Flynn Caroline Constantine Fogg McKenna Folks Flynn Lee Freeman Julie Ann Fuschetti Jesus Antonio Garcia Luna Sofia Garcia Pereira Kevin Kielty Gartland Allison Gentry George Ernst Glass Alec Christopher Gonzalez Elizabeth Dorothy Gooch Blake Eric Goodman James Michael Gorell Aaron Rose Grossman Noah Guckabin Gemma R. Gutenberg Nassim Bilal Hamid Madeline D. Hall Simon Baruch Handelman Diane Kelly Harris Neil Francis Hartnett Isabel Kathleen Hayes Caitlin Alexandra Hevesy Claire C. Hoffman Tiara K. Hubbard Rachel Lauren Hun Grayson May Lusk Hassong Julian Jacobs Emily Jiraporn Jordan Jean June Fatumata Kaba Manvita Caporetti Daniel Castle Catherine Kaiser Miles Isak Kalekian Sophia Alice Kelleher Annalise Madison Keller Liam James Kelly Brendan S. Kelly 
Hannah Kelman Christopher Lee Kim Ho Jun Kim Min Jun Kim Dana Nicole Kippen Jace A. Nee Ruby Cook Ethan Cosent Elias Yalmuri Yuhan Poika Korpela Joseph Patrick Kosman Lindsay Krieger Tyler Kuzma Joshua Max Kuttner Alexander LaRoche Anne Shotia Lalaker Eliana Sarah Landau Brendan Gerald Lane Alicia Lance Miles Laurie Kira Quinn Lay Graham Wesley Leader Anna Bryn Learned Aiden Michael Lee Cheyenne Alexis Lemonius Eden R. Leonard Cooper W. Leonard Brian Mitchell Levinson Alyssa Rebecca Levitt Maya Wong Lilly Colum F. Linsky Guan Yu Lu Elizabeth Alice Lukens Mariah McKenzie Emily L. Mays Avery Sarah Manusas Michaela Martin Matthew Luke Mastroberti Anjani Matur Matthew Patrick McHugh Sophia Langdon McDaniel Gabriella Elaine McHenry Marielena Malero Pardo Arian Milani Elizabeth Cutler Mintz Nicholas John Molinari Massimo Joseph Morano Matthew Peter Motola Victoria C. Murciano Emma J. Myers Keith L. Nagy Christopher Nardi Noah Cole Nyhart Charlie Oberst Matthew Scott Oberstadt Joseph Gray O'Brien Julia Louise O'Connell Sean O'Neill Mary Blair Overton Elise Owen Michael Andrew Paisley Jr. Charles Panfill Sophia Page Pappen June Park Kyle Vincent Parker Anuj Dharmendra Patel Daniel Perez Rachel F. Pullen 
David Eduardo Quintero, Zara Eve Rabenovitz, Menal Said Raju, Epiphany Gloria Ramirez, Jordan Ramsey, Garrison J. Ream. Josiah Morgan Reedy, Sarah Rychek, Ola Rachetniak, Gregory Butler Rice, Samuel Gary Riddle, Marilyn Joanna Rivas Martinez, Michael Alexander Roberts. Michaela Robes, Juan Jose Angel Rodriguez, Angelica Maria Rojas, Allison Ann Rosa, Julia Bernadette Rosneck, Michael A. Rossi, Carl Fox Rothenhaus. Cameron Thomas Saad, Michael Ellis Sands, Jessica Ann Schmidt, Nicholas David Shore, Michael Irving Shulman, Yun Jung Saw, Emmanuel Sesenyun. Rachel Shearer, Roman Sheik, Osman S. Sheiknareldin, Madeline Eve Sherbet, Spencer Walter She, Benjamin Gabriel Shovers, Caleb Reed Sibanek. Brooke Rachel Siegel, Libby Rivka Silber, Keegan C. Simonson, Lana Evelyn Singer, Samuel Singer, Evan Francis Smith, Jacob Thatcher Smith. Grace Smoker, Haley Spring, Kenneth Nelson Stibler, Emma J. Sullivan, Shruti Surendran, Elliot I. Svernovsky, Joseph Lee Swanson. Michaela Rose Veloso Taho, Charles Ying Nan Tong, Adriana Jocelyn Tapia Gomez, Blaine Abibi Tesfe, Ethan Matthew Thomas, Autumn Thompson, Tracy Amanda Thompson. Lauren Trainer, Kent Trespalacios, Benjamin Troutman, Ethan Choi, Peter Kale Vanderpool, Natalia Vasquez, Emily Rose Venezki. Andrew Anup Vipatasilpin, Maywadi Viriapa, Eden Joseph Vidoff, Lauren Alyssa Wagner, Mia Walsh Serpico, 
Yi Ning Wang, Sarah Washienko, Shaw M. Watkins, Madison Rose Waters, Peter Stanton Wells, Wei Lee Werner, Jana Marilyn Whited. Nimesh Nalinda Weejay Wardenay, Cicely Deborah Williams, Joseph Michael Wilton, Rachel Sylvia Witt, Michelle Wolk, Jillian Angela Wolens, Yu Xuan Shing. Timothy Noah Yi, Madeline C. Ying Ling, Nathan Francis Young, Catherine Ann Youngers, Nicole S. Zabala, Joanna Cho. Callie Fontleroy, Jordan Lynn Frengett, Anne Healy, Zachary Jones, Jeremy R. Lisker, Charlotte Grace Norris, John Thomas Schmidt. Kyle Sutera, Heather B. Templeman, Alexis Williams, Mikreab Abera, Melda Ajay, Suchitra Anand. Gianna Amanda Arnaldi, Corinne Martins Augusto, Leighton Barchi, Sarah Eve Baron, Katanbold Batsul, Lauren Allison Bell, Trinity Bell. Hari Vimla Bandari, Lauren Elise Bolger, Gabby Shana Borg, Hannah Marie Brady, Evan Scott Cameron, Ariana Chandler, Ilana Faye Chabin. Kayla Nicole Chopin, Stoffen Damian Crawford, Giovanna L. DiMora, Alexandra Patricia De Simone, Norte Akitunde Dauyuona, Olivia Michelle Dupont, Hannah Pinder Duncanson. Alexander Mitsuo Earl, Alexander Thomas Ertel, Jacqueline Martha Fernandez, Sophia Rose Frontelli, Libby Furtado, Albina Galamulina, Catherine Jorgudis. Nadia Maria Green, Stavon Malik Griggs, Savannah Rain Hanley, Hannah Hassan, 
Isabel G. Hay. Shuyinthia Thonic Hembry. Zainab Denise Ilkova. Tala Jabali. Alicia Marie Januzzi. Luis Fernando Jaramillo Lopez. Leila Jimenez. Dia Reddy Kalam. Karen B. Karshenboim. Julia Magdalena Kelly. Rukaya Khan. Caitlin Brianne Kirby. Madison Josephine Kleinhelter. Riley Aris Kowalski. Catherine McNabo Labuza. Esther Lee. Joshua David Lees. Destiny Jasher A. Lindsay. Sarah M. Liz. Emery Madison Losher. Meredith Marie Lowell Louie. Yi Fan Lu. Yu Nan Lu. Jaskirat Kor Man. Alejandro Rafael Martinez Rodriguez. Erica Lou Mathis. Molly E. McGordy. Marina Meyer. Taylor Lee Migliori. Jessica Rose Miller. Nicole Ashley Miller. Ambika Mittal. Thipophony R. Naughton. Spencer Rose Neville. Sweetine Ngugi. Michael Ifeolua Olujimi. Camila Orant. Caitlin Nicole Paith. Pooja Patel. Emma Elizabeth Peel. Talia Helen Pfeffer. Lena Chi. Li Ying Chu. Samantha Ramsey. Maddie Rackett. Isabella Roccascioli. Cecilia Maria Ruggiero. Diana Sonker. Samantha Danielle Santini Macker. Gabriella Shermer. Jennifer Evelyn Shopman. Meryl A. Scura. Brandon M. Selvidio. Catherine Elizabeth Sheehan. Gabriele Simonti. Sarah Siraj. Kennedy Smith. Marley J. Smith. Rebecca Kate Smith. Rhea Janin Smith. Carly Bess Soul. Xiao Yun Sun. William Patchell Swartz. Emma Kate Tallman. Ben Turley. Cindy Valadez. Emily Ann Wade. 
Zoe Claire Waldman, Hubo Wan, Jing Cho Wang, Chanel J. Watson, Cecily Johanna Wheeler, Gwyneth Wheeler, Brittany Ann Wilkinson. Kil Huan Yu, Han Yi Jang, Charles Zwetschgenbaum, Tess Catherine Bolin, Mariela Lynette Cabanillas, Abigail Cozier. Erin Elizabeth Downey, Bridget Eileen Duggan, Janelle Kiani Hernandez, Khalil Jamar Hester, Joanne Lisa Jackson, Xavier Q. Jana, Brittany Cagabo. Cassandra Keenan, Mary Lungu, Debriana Shavon McRae, Frederico S. Michelin, Allison Clark Olander Murray, Elizabeth Ann Norsworthy, Frederick Sadiq Ryle. Rachel Jenna Sorkin, Carla Maricela Terrazas, Grace Elizabeth Tully, Nathaniel Weitzman, Kira Wise, Jia Miao Yu, Xiao Jia Ju. Congratulations to you all. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, CCAS graduates. We are so proud of you and all your accomplishments. You have studied hard. You have made good friends. You have enriched our campus community. Congratulations to you. Good luck. Keep in touch. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Your grit, your talent, your resilience. Happy celebrations. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You have the power to change this. Congratulations, Columbian College. You made it to the end and it was weird and fun. And today is dress up day. Oh, congratulations class of 2021 and an extra special congratulations to all of our chemistry majors and minors and anyone that's taken a chemistry class for that matter. All the best for the future and please keep in touch with us. Take care. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Uh, special shout out to the political science majors, public policy focus majors, the minors, the BAs, the BSs. Uh, we're proud of you all and we look forward to seeing you do great things in the future. Hello, class of 2021. I just wanted to offer my congratulations and say how amazing that time has gone by so quickly and four years have passed so fast. So my little hippo that I have at home with me to remind me of what it was like on campus at GW, both of us are here to say raise high and the very best of luck 
as you move on to better things and more fun things. And uh, please do stay in touch and let us know what you're doing with the education that you got at GW. Congratulations and raise high. Sincere congratulations to the class of 2021 biology and neuroscience graduates. You did it. Congratulations, lovers of wisdom. You did it. I'm very happy and proud uh, to say that I teach at this wonderful university because of you. It is you who make it so worthwhile. All of the curiosity and existential courage you have to dedicate your lives to knowledge and how it ought to direct power in this world. And with any luck, we'll turn things around. And that gives us hope. Certainly it gives me hope. So not only congratulations are in order, but thanks to you for being you. Congratulations to the Department of Organizational Sciences and Communications graduating class of 2021. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, graduates. Raise high. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Uh, best of luck to every each, each and every one of you. Um, you should be very proud, and I hope uh, you're proud and that your family are proud of you. Goodbye and raise high. Hello, I'm Stephen Smith, chair of the Department of Economics, sending my joyful greetings to all of our graduates our many majors, our minors, the many more of you who have taken economics courses, and to all of our new GW alums, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. We've loved having you engage us every day. And we're especially proud of all of you who've come through and joined us in the political science department. Congratulations, is, Ray yeah. Tai. In the words of Maya Angelou, lift up your hearts. Each new hour holds new chances for new beginnings. Congratulations, all you new, bright, shiny art therapists. All the best. Congratulations, class of 2021, from everyone at the biology department, especially the biology department staff. We are proud parents of the class of 2021. Congratulations to all the students, staff, and teachers. This past year, I'm sure, has brought out the best in all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations to all the 2021 graduates of the Corcoran School of the Arts and Design. Good luck in your future endeavors and keep in touch with us. Take care. Congratulations and may your life be full of broken legs. Our majors and minors in theater and our MFA classical actors. Congratulations, you made it. Remember, if you love what you do, you'll never work a single day in your life. And remember also to never stop learning. Congratulations, class of 2021. Special shout out to my seniors in English 2511. Have a great summer and please keep in touch. Congratulations, forensic psychology class of 2021. I hope you'll remember the resilience and strength you have within you to graduate in 2021. Congratulations. Congratulations, CCAS class of 2021. You're amazing. Raise high. Congratulations, class of 2021, from Professor Schreiber of the English Department. Take care and enjoy your future endeavors. Best of luck always. From learning the ins and outs on Capitol Hill as a congressional intern, to sharing your knowledge and love of DC as a licensed tour guide, to promoting respectful and civil debate on important issues as leader of GWCRs during this uniquely challenging period, Thank you for bringing us along for the ride to enjoy all of your only at GW moments. Congratulations to Josh and the entire class of 2021. SMPA class of 2021, it's your world. Blaze a trail of compassion, of mercy, and of professional excellence. Congratulations and well done.